Dear friends in Christ at Christ, I recently took my first COVID test. Thankfully, everything came back negative. But I got to tell you that I was kind of apprehensive about taking the test because I had seen those like drawing illustrations about what uh, needs to happen when you take the test that they, they stick a, a stick like right up your nose. And in the illustration, it looks like that stick is going up into your brain. And so it made me a little nervous to take the test. Thankfully, the, the nurse who administered the test was awesome. And she told me what to expect when taking the test, that it wouldn't hurt and that my eyes would probably water some when, you know, when the, when the stick was up there, but that everything was going to be okay. And everything was okay. And I think I only lost a little bit of gray matter in the process. So it was all good. But it makes a big difference when you know what to expect. Jesus told his disciples what to expect. He told them what they could expect when, when they were sent out with the message of the gospel. Now, to share the message of the gospel can be a frightening thing because we don't know how people are going to react. But Jesus told his disciples how people would react, and it was not going to be pretty. He told his disciples that they would be persecuted for sharing the gospel. We might think Jesus would kind of keep that quiet so that his disciples wouldn't be scared off from sharing the gospel. But he told them what to expect so that when it happened, the disciples would be able to remember what Jesus said and remember that Jesus told them exactly what would happen. They wouldn't have to be afraid. When they knew what, when they knew what to expect, it would take away their fear. However, Jesus told them what they could fear and probably what they should fear. He said, don't fear the people that can destroy your body, but, but fear the one who is able to throw you, your soul, and your body in hell. Do you know who it is who throws people's soul and body in hell? It's not people. It's not the devil. It's God. Jesus told them that if they were going to be afraid, they ought to fear God because he's the one who determines our eternity. But then, immediately, Jesus took away even that fear because he told them what to expect from God. He said if God's going to take care of the sparrows, he's also going to, he's also going to take care of you, no matter what you're facing. So don't be afraid because Jesus has told you what to expect. Listen to Matthew chapter 10, verses 26 through 31. So do not be afraid of them, for there is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed or hidden that will not be made known. What I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roofs. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. This is the word of our Lord. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we praise you that you have taken away our fear. You've taken away our fear because while we don't know everything that's going to happen in life, we do know what to expect. We know that as we share the gospel, yeah, there's going to be times when we're persecuted and when we feel like the world is against us. But you know what? Let the world be against us because God is for us and he loves us. He knows everything about us and, and yet he still promises to take care of us, to forgive us, and to bring us to our eternal home in heaven. Help that, help those expectations of our good God and his great love for us take away the fears we might have in our lives. Amen.